All right, so now we're gonna talk about the arm ripper from the arm razor falling to your left towards the head, okay? So basically, same thing. I'm gonna feed the arm razor here, okay? I'm leaning it back, I tilt to the left, and then my left leg comes over his arm here, okay? I kind of scoot so I can kind of get him in a key lock position here. As I figure four, okay, my legs, as you see right here, okay? His arm is stuck, all right? And as I lean back, it pulls all the tension on the inner part of his elbow. And it's really, really unpleasant and painful because you can't escape your arm simply because it's got to straighten in order for this lapel to be able to, or for them to unhook the lapel. This is not a bicep slicer. I know what you're saying. This is a slicer. No, it's not. Okay. So I can have it this way. I can even grab this and I can pull it and reverse grip it. Okay. The other option you have is you see my free hand, you see his hand here. I can just fall onto my side and I can begin to torque a wrist lock here. He's probably going to use this other hand to defend. I can probably pull here, lean back and finish the arm rip. Okay. So one more time. <clears throat> you feed the arm razor. We fed it through. I'm leaning it back. Sometimes the arm goes down towards his hip right here. Okay. All right. That's also acceptable here. It's either going to go towards the head like a key lock or towards the uh, legs like a Kimura. The great thing here is that he's not getting this arm out. The great thing here is that if he starts rolling to the left, his arm is stuck. If he starts pulling it, his arm is stuck right here. And the great thing is, is that I could just arch away and this left lapel tightens so tight that it finishes the whole thing. So these are what's called the arm rippers. Okay. These are incredibly painful, incredibly effective. But at the same time, I do have to say that um, you should be finishing the arm razors even before you get there. But this is just extra out of bonus for you guys.